how to use the new compound mask feature in Affinity Photo version 2. The key panel, layers. Very useful panel, so that's window menu. And now I'm just gonna create a shape. It could be anything else, but I'm just gonna use shape as an example. So ellipse tool, and I'm just gonna apply it like that. You could also apply effects to it. As soon as you do anything, it's gonna be a rasterized layer anyway. It's gonna be pixels. So filters and distort, you could use any of those, or maybe blur and Gaussian blur. So just blur it. Any setting, click apply. Now once you've done that, you can turn it into a mask. Go to layer, and down here, rasterize to mask. As soon as you do that, you can see mask. It's now a mask, and it masks the image, which is fine. But compound masks, how to get that? We'll deselect everything, so nothing's selected here. Then go to layer, and new compound mask layer. And you can see it there. This mask, this one that you created earlier, can just be dragged up. Just place it in there. Now if I expand it out, it's a child of this compound mask. At the moment, nothing's changed. I could add another mask, but also I can just right click and go to duplicate. So it just duplicates the existing design. Now, of course, if I change anything now, nothing's, it's not gonna be very useful. It's just on top of the other one. Go to the move tool, makes sense you go to the move tool, not selecting the shape, because that just creates another shape. And then you can move it, and you can reposition it, you can resize it, it's just a pixel layer. Remember, if you do too much with it, probably after a while, it will degrade. So just keep it like that. I'm just gonna go with that, and you can then move it back over it, and at the moment, the compound mask is adding. So you can just go here, and you can see this one, top one, in the compound mask, just click here, add. So if I go to subtract, you see what happens? It just cuts it away. If I go to intersect, you just get that, just that little bit of slither that's the intersection between the two. Or XOR, you've got that gap. You've got the mask there, and there. And you can do that, put it to subtract, add again. And you can do the same. So right click and duplicate. And you can position that elsewhere. Let's make certain again, it's a move tool, not trying to add another shape or anything. I can position it, say, down here or up there, anywhere, and resize that one. Or maybe apply effects to it. Of course, it's been blurred already, but you can also go for filter, distort, deform, say. Just add some pins. And you could do anything, you don't have to do this, but I'm just showing an example that you can distort the design as well as this mask, click apply. And I can reposition that. And as it's part of the compound mask, the only one that doesn't have this plus or minus is the one at the bottom. All the others, any new ones, will have exactly the same format here. And that mask, you can do exactly the same as before. So again, click on that, and you'll see add, that's the default. Subtract. You can see it cutting away. You can see it just down the bottom there. And there's the intersection. That's all you get from all of the different masks. That's just it. Or XOR, and you can see the effect there. And again, you can go to the other one. Again, XOR, and you can create all kinds. And you can still move them around. It's still live. So you can reposition it like that. And as you change it, you can see you get more or less of the mask. And you can still tweak it if you want. You can still modify any of these. And of course you can use other images as well. Type, anything can be used with this compound mask. So select that, and you've got your background there. Now if you want to, just drag that there, and you can always just drag that down there and put it as part of that background. So you can see you've got the compound mask and you've got all your masks, and it's associated with that layer. As it's associated with that layer, at the moment the layer's locked, so you can't move it, I wish that wasn't the default, but it always is. So click there, and now you can move it. And you can see here you've got lock children. They're all children. Everything that's below, below again, all relate to this lock children. And that's very useful as well. And you can resize this, move this around. You can also go here. So if you do this and move around, you can see what happens. The children are moving with it. That's what it means, that lock children. If you turn it on, 
and now move it, you can see what happens. The children are locked. You might want that, you might not. So deselect that one. And you can move that around. And then hold down the ultra option key, drag, and you can duplicate that design and duplicate that and so on. And they're all independent. So you can go to any of these and go break this down, just expand this out, go to this one and go for subtract and so on. So you can create all kinds of combinations of designs using this approach with compound masks. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. Thank you much.